Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Earlier this week I was sent a link to a Turkish news site from a Twitter user called Diego, and I'm really glad he did because it was a news story from the end of December 2021 about a 16,500 year old site in Turkey. The significance is obviously the age of the site being around 5,000 years older than the earliest phase of Gebekli Tepe, also located within Turkey, but this site is located more than 800 kilometers away and close to the Bosporus Strait. The story hasn't really permeated the Western media, so I'm happy to present what I can find on the Ancient Architects channel. The site is known as Gedikeya Cave, located on the north facing slope of a rocky hill called Gedikeya, which is one kilometer southeast of Inhisar, which is located in the district of Bilesik. The Batfield Limestone Cave was only discovered in 2017, and although I can't find a specific map, based on the detailed descriptions I believe it's located around here. It is also known as Inhisar Cave, and it overlooks the Sakaria Valley. It sits in a region that also contains classical period and medieval building remains, as well as an old necropolis. The cave mouth is 354 meters above sea level, faces towards the north-northwest, and so you enter the mountain by walking in a southward direction. Excavations inside the cave have been taking place for three years, a cave that's 180 meters deep, and inside there are stone and bone finds, including 70 arrowheads that date to the Epi-Paleolithic period, which is approximately 16,500 years ago. This makes it one of the earliest places, if not the earliest place, where people settled in ancient Anatolia. Yes, according to the experts, the finds inside do suggest the cave was a settlement, and not just a short-term shelter, and it was actually inhabited in three different periods, the Epi-Paleolithic, Neolithic and Chalcolithic. The interior of the cave made it the perfect place to settle because of the protection it offered from the elements and predators, and also because there is a hole deep into the cave that lets in daylight and evidence suggests it also acted as a chimney because we find the remains of fireplaces below. This was in use by all the various cultures, certainly the Neolithic people, and finds suggest it was also used by the Epi-Paleolithic people as well. Close to this chimney in the corner of the cave are architectural remains, possibly Neolithic and likely made for storage. There are a number of clear specific storage areas set two meters apart from each other and it's possible that each one was used by a different family that occupied the cave. There are also some finds inside from the Hellenistic and Roman periods and because there was a settlement at the foot of the rocky hill it implies that people from this settlement visited the cave in these later periods for certain purposes. What they were we don't know, but it is possible they were ceremonial. The carbon-14 dating of the earliest finds came back as 14,500 BC, which is towards the end of the last ice age before the bolling alarod warming that precedes the Younger Dryas. It's interesting because this pretty much coincides with the H1 Heinrich event. A Heinrich event is when large groups of icebergs break off the glaciers in the North Atlantic, from both European and Laurentide ice sheets. The melting of these icebergs put vast quantities of fresh water into the ocean, and this leads to global climate fluctuations. Data from the Sorek Cave in Israel, Greenland ice cores, the Arborean Sea and the Nile Delta show a drastic drop in temperature for H1 meaning it was a global cooling event and would have affected human populations. Some people date the H1 event to 16,800 years ago, some say it was slightly earlier and some say it was later. For me it's important to note in this video because it's around this time where we find the earliest evidence of a cave settlement in Turkey, and therefore a global cooling event could be the cause leading people to settle down inside a cave and stay there for quite some time. 
the most ancient discoveries were found throughout the cave, situated around the cave walls, and they provide us with a rare glimpse into the lives of the most ancient people of Anatolia, which have really been little understood until now. The later Neolithic finds that date to the 7th and 8th millenniums BC were really surprising, as they contained various items from the well-known Fakir Tepe culture and the pre-Fakir Tepe culture of the 7th millennium BC. This is one of the oldest known cultures in northwestern Anatolia. The Neolithic pottery found inside the cave also shows an association with cultures in the Balkans, the Mediterranean, and also southeastern Anatolia, indicating there was trade or perhaps migration. Experts have found axes, grinding stones, handstones, blades, scrapers, drills, and more. Tools that were mostly made of diorite, and would have been used for stoneworking, woodworking, and weaving. They were crafting tools to be used inside the cave settlement. There was also a selection of bone tools, animal remains, horns and shellfish, and these have allowed experts to date it. The next group of finds are Chalcolithic, between 5500 and 3500 BC, where people made objects out of stalagmites. There is also a fragment of a figurine known as a Kilia type, and this is made from marble, and it associates the people of the Chalcolithic with Aegean cultures. As stated, these excavations have lasted for three years, and, at present, the news has only been reported on a handful of Turkish language websites. So I'm relying on Google Translate to understand the details, and the details at this point are not extensive. All we know about the most ancient Epi-Paleolithic finds is that they are stone and bone objects found throughout the cave, and they are likely included in this image, which sadly did not have a caption, and so I don't know the specifics. I will now attempt to contact the experts working on the site and see if I can get more information to present to the viewers of the Ancient Architects channel, so please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for updates. The experts say the first known settlement inside the cave dates back to 16,500 years ago, and I'm sure that in time, more details will come to light about this site, a site that is 5,000 years older than the incredible pre-pottery Neolithic site of Gebekli Tepe. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.